you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have yet another haul, I know, I'm sorry, but I got home from doing actually a little bit of shopping for something else, and I had this amazing box that I'm so excited to share with you guys at my doorstep. They are some bits from the Selfridge, which they very kindly sent me, and I haven't looked inside the box yet, it's down there if you hadn't noticed where I'm like staring and I'm so excited to share all the things in the box with you. This video is not sponsored but they did very kindly send me them so just a quick disclaimer about that. I also have a few bits I just picked up from Forever 21 that I didn't have a chance to try on so I thought why not do a big try on haul with you guys because I know you love them. My camera battery is already flashing which is a disaster. I have another one on charge ready to go. That one passes out. Oh, I don't know why I'm speaking so fast, but I'm so excited. I can't wait to try all these bits on. You should have literally seen me when I got to my front door. I was like, ah, so happy. Sorry, by the way, if anyone's listening with headphones and I just broke your eardrums. Um, but yeah, let's not talk too much because there is honestly so many things in this box and I can't wait to share them. So let's do this. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna start with Forever 21 as I have on one of the tops that I um, just picked up. This is a super basic $3, yes, it's $3, tank top from Forever 21. It's got a really simple scooped back. I'll probably not show you this in a drum because I've got it on right now, but I just got it on with some simple Levi shorts. I basically decided that I desperately needed some basics. I don't have really like enough for this warm weather. I have lots of t-shirts, but when I wanted something sleeveless, I was kind of a bit screwed. And when I saw this, I was like, this is perfect. It's soft, it's comfortable, and I'm probably gonna need a few more. But I thought, what an easy quick buy. And yeah, I'll be sure to link everything down below, but this t-shirt is such a bargain, and you guys should definitely get yourself one. So I also picked this shirt up in white. Well, let me just find it for you first. Oh yeah, here it is. Exactly the same. I'll try this on in a cutaway for you, but exactly the same. They're quite like oversized and slouchy, which I like. It came in gray and I think an orange color, but I have lots of like fun tops. I just didn't really have any sort of like actual basics. So I thought this would be a great little purchase. Like I say, they're $3, which is ridiculous. $3, I got them both in a size small. They come in just small, medium, large, extra large, I think. So yeah, nice. And mine is like, I would usually wear an extra small. This is really oversized and slouchy on me, but I really, really like that kind of look tucked into a nice pair of jeans or something like that. I also kind of like the scoop neck. I feel like I really moved away from scoop necks. I've got lots of these and I've got um, lots of like square neck, you know, where it kind of goes like this, which I really like, but a classic scoop neck, I feel like can never go wrong. And yeah, they're really soft. And this is the white one. I just swapped out a nude bra underneath. You kind of need a nude bra with a top like this. You can't really do um, white, unless you want to see it, I guess. Actually, you could have like a frilly white something that popped out. I just like a really simple, clean line. Um, and yeah, they do make me look a little bit like boxy and a bit square. Typically I would go for something a lot more fitted, but I just wanted something this slouchy. I felt like I was really missing it in my closet. Well, you do see a little bit of bra though. That's maybe something to be aware of. I like actually how thick the straps are though, because you can wear a proper bra underneath. Like you don't have to wear like, I don't know, a strapless bra or something, which I don't know how that'd work under this. I might probably play with a few different bras to see how I like the fit. But yeah, just to give you an idea, really slouchy, comfy, easy. You could wear these even as pajama tops because they're so soft and they're $3. I mean, can you believe that? So cheap. Then moving on to a piece that I was like, which is kind of what made me start this, a little shop in Forever 21. I was thinking I'd probably just order some tank tops online because it would be easy, but then I saw this dress and I did a little squeal. It's a halter neck. It's backless and it's kind of like midi length. Super Missoni, very chic. I like love all the colors, all the kind of like oranges and blacks and creams. This was $27.90 and I got it in a size small. I don't I think this will be an okay fit. I'm curious to see this on because this is the type of thing that could be like really flattering or like beyond unflattering. 
length and the fabric and all that sort of stuff. So let's try this one on and see what we think. Okay, I'm gonna need some serious feedback on this dress. This is kind of what I was talking about, about it being either like amazing or a little on the unflattering side. Basically, it, I think this is how it's supposed to fit. I don't think it's fitting like on how it's supposed to fit, but I wish it like nipped me in a tiny bit more in the waist because if I stand really far back, I had to put a pair of heels on with it. You'll see these in a bit. Um, just because it was like, I looked like a big square and I was like, okay, I can't do this. It's, I don't know whether I wish it was a bit longer or a bit shorter. I feel like on most people, it probably end like there. But like I say, I am five foot two. So it's on the odd length side to me. Now the back I love, I'm obsessed. The back is so cute. I love this low detail. And I love the hem on this as well. Basically, I think it's just a bit big on me in general. And with this like knitted fabric, you're a bit screwed if it's a bit big. The print is just gorge. I mean, I kind of love it, but I also I'm just like, I don't know if every time I put it on, I'm just gonna be like, it's just really unflattering and not wear it. Let me know in the comments. This one is a real on the fence item. And yeah, I'm just not sure. Like here, look how, I just think I look like I have no boobs, a bit of a belly, and then my butt kind of, it just, that's not really doing anything for me on the side. Back, I love, like if I just, I just stood like this, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> But yeah, let me know what you think. I did love the idea, but I don't know. I don't know. Okay, then let's go into these other tops before we move into the exciting stuff. So I also picked up this white top. This reminds me of something I had when I was like, I don't know, 15 or something. But it's really sweet. It's very low in the front. So I feel like you could either wear this like over a tank top or over a bralette or something or if you're brave maybe on its own i honestly don't know if this is going to be too much on show on its own but we will see this one was 12 dollars and 90 cents and this smocking detail that's what this is called by the way this kind of like stretchy fabric or stretchy effect on a fabric is super in style right now you'll probably have seen it everywhere on like Bando bralettes and all that sort of stuff, but I really, really liked this one. I thought it could be really flattering and sweet. It's a little top and I really like it. It knits me in really nicely at the waist and then kind of goes down. I haven't got a bra on with it because it's so low that you can't really wear a bra. So you probably have to do like, I don't know, think about what you were gonna do with the bra situation. With this top, I'm not really 100% sure what you would do if you didn't want to wear a bra, but it's quite low, so I don't know if someone had bigger boobs, whether they would want to wear it. I really like the shape of it, I think it's sweet. I like the fact that it's cotton and like really like it. And I love it with these trousers. I love these. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I've been loving like fitted, high-waisted, cropped, flared trousers. Like that as a general like thing I've been obsessed with and I saw these in Forever 21 and they were 19.90 and I just couldn't resist. This is them, they're going to be like a super love it or hate it item, personally I'm a lover. Um, they are high waisted striped pants with like a flared bottom, they're in this like stretchy fabric that I think my school trousers were made out of. But again, I thought these would be so cute for like in the city, in the summertime kind of pants. These would be great to wear to meetings and things like that. I've got some really like sexy, like pointy, strappy heels that would go with them or that are nude or some like white trainers for kind of a bit more dress down look or sandals. I just thought this would be so fun and cool. And yeah, I thought, let's see what they look like on. Like I said, I haven't even tried them on. so. I don't know how flattering they're gonna be. I'm always a bit of a one with trousers, but let's try those on and see how we go. They're so cute. I am kind of about to be due on, hence my little hard bloating, which if you guys know what I mean, my ladies out there, you all know what I mean. So excuse that for right now, but otherwise, 
freaking obsessed with these. Like, this is exactly what I've been looking for. Although, can we discuss the camel area and is it that flattering there? I think I get away with it. Um, that's always a conscious thing, but again, this was just like a little crop top or something, just a white tank if you didn't want to do a top like this, but as an outfit, I'm just like kind of obsessed with this whole look. Um, yeah, this is very like what I'm into. I think they're great on the butt. They're really stretchy. Um, I got these in an extra small and I look like they're pulling a tiny bit here right now, but I do know why and um, it's, that will go down. <laughs> so, just some real life stuff there, peeps. Um, but yeah, I really like these. I love the shape, I love the flare. Um, oh, so I've kind of been wanting, sorry, I didn't mean to just fling it out, but I've kind of been wanting a like oversized white shirt or shirt dress-esque something. Cause I thought it would look really nice over like bikinis or something like that in the summertime. And I saw this, this is probably gonna look terrible in this view, but hopefully it'll look good on. But it's basically like a white button up shirt with kind of a light back wing sleeve. But I really liked this. Like I say, I think it would be great as like a bikini cover up or on holiday. Um, I'm going on quite a big European trip anyone that's in Europe or let me know in the comments down below um, in summertime and I thought this would be really like chic with like some nude sandals or some tan sandals and yeah just like an easy lightweight piece that would look good in the city and kind of like on the beach so yeah let's see what this one looks like on okay so I'm super on the fence about this shirt dress a thing so it is kind of giving me what I wanted but I feel like for me to like the shape of this I would have to throw a belt around it because I just it looks like a pajama shirt kind of on me I feel like I don't know if it's like this bat winged sleeve vibe and it's very see-through although I am wearing a nude bra and you can't really see anything and the same like nude pants you can't see them at all so that's a good that's a winning kind of combo because sometimes with these things they're so made for beach cover-ups that they're just like not clothes. It is quite cool though. Oh, I'm just sometimes, I just don't know if I like the sleeve. That's what I think it is. I think it's really throwing me off. I don't like, love this like back wing sleeve. If it was just like a regular shirt, cause like with something like this, you can't even roll it because it's kind of tight it's like not properly fitted under the armpit. Like if it was like that, I think I would prefer it. Mm, I don't know. What do you guys think of this? Do you think it's like practical? How much was it? I think it was like, it was $15. That's so not bad. Maybe I'll just keep it as a beach cover up. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. This top, this was $17.90 and it has these like tortoise shelly again buttons that are really on trend right now and then um it's got a crossover detail it's like beige and white stripes and i thought this was really pretty 17.90 i don't know register the price but it like nips into the waist and has a little pep them this will probably be like a regular length top on me oh i don't know how like revealing that's going to be in the front but let's try it on and see so this top is too low to actually wear a bra with but I do think it's quite sweet. It's a little bit on the big side, if I'm being honest. Like, where's the waistband? Like, I've got probably a good handful in there. It's cute. I like the button detail. It's a l I, I honestly just think it's probably just like a whole size too big for me. Um, which is kind of a bummer because it's really sweet and I think it would look great with jeans. I've got it on with these trousers right now, but I do... I do like it, I don't love it, so it's probably gonna be a no just because there's no point in me keeping something I don't love. I like, I don't know if you guys can see, it's just big everywhere. It's like big across the shoulders. It needs to kind of sit like this on me and then I need to lose like a good chunk in the waist. So yeah, this is gonna be a no, but I do think it's a really sweet top and if it was to fit um, someone with a less petite frame, I think it would be really, really sweet on. Okay, now onto the box that started it all. I literally don't think I could even get it in the screen. It's so big. Sorry, I wanna cover up my dress there. But, how exciting it says LAX on it though. Um, 
Thank you so much to Miss Elfridge for sending this over. You have no idea how much I love everything Miss Elfridge does, so this is very exciting. Also, for my petite girls out there, Miss Elfridge has amazing petite things. Um, I can't remember if I requested any or like picked any out um, from the website, but anyway, well, let's begin. I'm actually gonna put this box on the floor because it's so big. Oh my gosh. So exciting. Okay, first up says, to Electro, we hope that you love your miss, new Miss Selfridge pieces. We can't wait to see every style of them. Love the team so much. Thank you so much, everyone. Miss Selfridge. <laughs> so exciting. Okay, first up, oh my gosh. Let me see here. So first up, we have this piece. This is a yellow button front, and then it's one of those like top dress things and basically like opens in the front and in the back and it's just sort of loose. It basically is a top with like dangling bits. So you wear this over like denim shorts or I could do like a jersey dress or something under this. This is so freaking sweet. I think I've got everything from Miss Average in a size six, but I'll let you know if I didn't. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. How cute is this, you guys? Um, yes, love that. Let's try that one on. So this is the yellow kind of top dress thing. I think it's so fun. I probably should have got the size down in this. I think it would have fit a lot better. But like I say, you definitely have to wear like shorts or a skirt or something. I could also wear like a little jersey dress underneath that I think would really work. But you'll see it as you walk um, with this. And I just, as a like fun little summer piece. I also think this is great if you're like, you want to wear denim shorts, but you also don't really want to get your legs out and like the backs of your legs. I know people are quite conscious of like, where is it? I can't even get to them. <laughs> like this part of your leg in the summertime. So this is quite a nice option to kind of like do a bit of both, have a bit of leg, have the coolness and the breeziness of not being in um, something maxi and long, but you're also covering up. I think this is a great option, I think it's really chic. And again, for a festival or even over a bikini, I think this would be such a great thing. You could have it open, obviously, I am wearing it as a top, so it's like fully done up, but you could also have this open. I think it would look really cool. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to like play around with this and see what else I could put underneath it. I'm thinking, oh yeah, these shoes, by the way, you'll see those in a second. Um, I can't wait to play around with this and like see what other kind of underneaths I could do and how else I could style this. I think it's super, super cute. Ooh! Okay, I'm going to wear these next because I think I'll want to try these on with a lot of the outfits and I won't want you not to have seen them. So I got one pair of shoes and these are them. How cute! Oh my gosh. Woo. How freaking cute are these? Oh my gosh, I kind of want to put one on right now. This would look so cute with like the outfit I have on now, just like denim shorts, a black tank. Oh my gosh. You guys, they're so cute. Oh! Can't wait for you to see these on, but yeah, they're so freaking cute. I got a size four UK, which is my usual size. And yeah, are you joking? They're like little stacked heel mules with strappy straps on them. Yes. Okay, what else? And then, by the way, they've wrapped everything in like delightful little tissue, which I can't get enough of. Um, okay, oh, I don't know if I remember this. So I'm obsessed with leopard print right, right now. I don't know if anyone else is, like cannot get enough of it. So I picked out, oh yes, there is two bits. So I picked out two bits that are leopard print and I'm kind of on the fence whether I should have got these in a size UK four, which they do go down to in a lot of things in the summer, they look a touch big. Um, but basically they're these wide-legged, flared, long trousers and they're really cute. They're £32 or $65 and I absolutely love these. I have a really good idea of how I'm going to style them, but they're so, so cute. Can't wait to try these on. Um, I'm definitely going to have to have them hemmed. They're not petite, which I need in everything. So I'm definitely going to have those taken up, but love them. And then like the um, trousers, there was a matching shirt and I'm gonna try this on together as an outfit for you guys, but I also think this shirt just with like black skinny ripped jeans or denim shorts, like I say in the summertime, this is such a like cool city vibe. And again, size six or size US two if you're in the US and you're wondering. 
but yeah, just absolutely loved this leopard print. I feel like some leopard prints look expensive and some look cheap, and I think this looks expensive and very chic. Okay, welcome to the world of being petite, because everything is so long and big. I look like I'm in my mum's clothes. However, so these trousers I definitely should have got in the four. Note to self, I'm a four in this average a lot of the time, and I should just remember that. But I do really like them, and I kind of like them. This is not my waist, this is like my hip, really. I think they're supposed to fit up here, which, if I had them tailored, I could make them fit there. And then I feel like the length would only have to come up a tiny bit. I really, really like them. I think they're really sweet. I said I was gonna try on this shirt with the trousers. I personally just think I'm a little bit too short to wear this all as one outfit together. Um, but I love the print and I love the shape of this shirt. I think it's really, really cool. I'm gonna quickly try on some jeans with this just to show you. Okay, so I've just popped these denim black shorts on just to kind of give you guys an idea of how this would look, not with the leopard print outfit. I feel like this is so sweet. i probably tie these ties a little bit better, but like, same with jeans, I think this would work really well. I think this is gonna be a great, like I say, summer in the city option. I think it would be great if you kind of had a bit more of a relaxed work environment, you could wear these with some black trousers. I think this print's really nice, or some really smart black jeans and heels. Yeah, I just, I really like it. I think it's a fun way to add some leopard print into your wardrobe without looking a bit Pat Butcher, if you know what I mean, if you're from England. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I think this is an easy, kind of casual look and I think, just pop these shoes on. I feel like if you're kind of going out in an evening in the summer, pop your little sliders on. Sliders? Mules. With it. And uh, you've got quite a chic kind of date night work look. Yeah. I like it a lot. Good job, Miss Alfred. Then, oh yes. This is so cute. I, like I say, I've been loving like cropped, cropped flared trouser kind of look. And this, I'm just doing the buttons up so you can see it properly. But this is a um, jumpsuit that has that fit. So it's got little cap sleeves. Oh, I was gonna say, I thought I had the tie waist. It has a little tie waist, but, um, and buttons down the front, which is such a good detail this season. And then it's cropped flares at the bottom and it's a really pretty like orange color again this is going to be so perfect for my trip but also to wear like i say to meetings and to events here this is like a great piece for la because it's like lightweight but just is an outfit and you don't have to really think about it i absolutely love that can't wait to get on okay i love this this fits me so well i wonder if this is petite actually is it petite no, it's regular. This just fits me like a dream. Um, it ends in the right place for once on my mid calf and just fits really nicely everywhere. I really like the button detail in the front. I think it's flattering. I think this would be a great piece that you could get for summer that you could wear to like a wedding, for what, for like a business something, if you've kind of got a casual, less formal business environment. I just think it's like smart because it's not like it's low, but it's not like, you're not like revealing yourself. Oh, actually it's even higher than it looks because that bit's been steamed down, but I can fix that. And then I like the little sleeve detail, this little like ruching's really pretty. The print's sweet, it's like orange and yeah, flowers. I like this. Yeah, I think this is such a like great summer easy option to kind of just throw on with some like sandals or trainers and then you're out the door. Yeah, I like it a lot. Very, very cute. Oh yeah. And then, oh yes, I loved this. So I saw this cropped, like, it's kind of cropped. I guess it is cropped. Sweatshirt and I was like, literally obsessed. So I live very close to Malibu and we go to the beach a lot and it gets really cold actually in the nighttime when we go for dinner there and stuff like that. So having a piece like this, that's, oh my God, it's so soft inside this like white fabric that having something in white like this is like really sweet I think because it's like great for summer still looks like super fresh but it's actually warm and cozy so this is like just some jeans and some sliders or something and I love this like little detail in the middle this tie I wonder if you untied it what it looks like 
oh yeah, it just hangs. Oh, it is like totally untieable, so you can make that fit you like perfectly, which I love. But also, great little hack here, guys. If you want a kind of different sweatshirt vibe, why not just cut the shape? Ooh, I might do that on a couple of my sweatshirts because if this is flattering, this like cropped little tie shape, that could be so good. Well, let's try this on and see what we think. Okay, I love, love, love this sweatshirt. It might bleach out a little bit in this thing, but I love the little tie detail. I think that's really fun. And I love like the chunky sleeves. I also think you could probably tie this really loose if you wanted to. So you could start like with it tighter and then have it like, yeah, you could totally do it like this. Like a really loose. Yeah, I feel like you could really like make this what you wanted it to be, like looser or more fitted, depending on the thing. I saw these and I literally nearly died. I really hope I got that right size in these because this is something where you know if you get it slightly wrong, the fit's gonna be terrible, but they're so oh my god, you guys. So I saw these like mum boyfriend jeans with all this embellishment on the side, and it just reminds me of like being 15, 13, in the 90s, or my mom, or my young man, but this just reminds me of being like 15 and the type of jeans I used to wear, and I love them. So um, I had to pick these up, or I had to request these even. And I love all the embellishment detail on the side, I just think they're really fun. I really hope these fit well. Let's hold up the waist. I guess if I wore them low on my waist, I think they're gonna work. But um, yeah, I absolutely love these. These are a slim boyfriend fit, and I guess a size six is a is a 25. I'm typically 23 or a 24 in jeans, but we shall see how these fit. But they're boyfriends, so I feel like I'll get away with a bit bigger. Okay, these jeans. Kind of what I thought was gonna happen happened. They are thick. <laughs> um, I, I can't really explain it. A lot of this is in the leg with jeans with me. They're too baggy, they just look, I look like I'm in like, mum jeans but like not flattering mum jeans but I do really like these and I think I might be able to make them work I think I'm just gonna go for a really fitted top on top and maybe some heels and I feel like the slouchiness will work I love love the embellishment on the side um and everything I think I just need to remember that I need to go down a size in Miss Selfridge if they offer a size four it's probably because the thing comes up quite big and I need to buy that size. <laughs> but the jeans, really love them. I'm excited to style these up and uh, yeah, see what I can do with them. They're so cute. I feel like they're really cute because they're slouchy and baggy but because of this embellishment, it makes them kind of dressy, which I love. So yeah, winning. And, oh, last, oh, more. Oh my gosh, there's so much more than I thought there was in here. Okay, next I saw this super friggin' cute t-shirt and I had to get it. It says, heartbreaker, troublemaker. Which I so cringed out of myself, but I loved that. I just thought, and what I kind of like about it is you can't really read it, like, oh no, actually, I'm just looking at the viewfinder down there and you can read it pretty well. Um, and then on the back it just says troublemaker and this is actually a petite t-shirt, like I said, Miss Alvarez do amazing petites, and this is a size small, which they call, small UK, they call a US 2 to 4, and it's like a nice, like slightly oversized, not cropped, but like to where my jeans would end T, and yeah, let's try that one on. Okay, so I don't know if I would style these together, probably not, but I really like this tee, I knew I was going to, as I thought, what's so great about the tee is like, this is how a t-shirt should fit me, it like, ends where it's supposed to and the sleeve is good and everything about it's good. I love the like font, like I say, and I feel like you can't really tell what it says, but you can. Um, and yeah, I really like this. I'm definitely gonna be wearing this one a lot. Um, yeah, super cute. I have wanted these for so long and I really hope, like I say, I made the right move in sizing. These are these grey, grey, 
like a khaki olive green trouser. They're really soft. They're like that paper bag waist. They do actually have like a zip and then you tie. So I feel like I'll be able to cinch these to make them fit really well, but they're so soft. I feel like these are sort of trousers that would be so great for traveling in. And then when you're there, you can kind of like throw them on if you just want a kind of comfy day, but you don't want to take an extra pair of like sweats or anything like that with you. Um, I really, really like these. I'm stoked to try them on. Okay, so these trousers, I really want your guys' feedback on because I think they're just too big on me. Um, they are they are big, um, but I've got a feeling if I had them just taken in a tiny bit, I wonder if they could be taken in down the seam maybe. It might shift all of this back a bit, but I think it would be worth it because I think these will be so cute and comfy for traveling in. Um, I'm also wondering actually, I've tied them quite high on the waist. I'll just pop you guys there. I wondered if I like shimmy them down. They could sit better there on me, even though I definitely wouldn't wear this top. Um, with this, they kind of become a bit pajama y though, if they're that low. So I think they're supposed to be up high, but as you can see, they're just on the little bit of the big side. Um, this top, however, so in love with this. Definitely gonna be wearing this so much throughout the summer. Um, I love the little ties in the front. I think that makes it really flattering top. And it's really secure. Like I don't feel like it's gonna come down. Um, I thought like as an outfit, this would be quite sweet, but these trousers are just a no, I think. Um, I'm going to have a play with them and see if I can take them to a tailor because they're really cool and I'd like to wear them. I think they'd be really comfy, especially for like on the plane and stuff, but yeah, they're probably gonna be a no, but the top, obsessed. Couldn't be more obsessed. I saw these little tops. Now they have them in a uh, black, white definitely, and maybe some other colors. It's basically a little like smocked bandeau top, but I don't know if you'll be able to see in this light, but you'll be able to see when I try it on. Um, it has, this like tie in the middle. How can I show this? Can you see the ties? <laughs> Has a little tie in the middle. So when you pop it on, it kind of like ruches in the center here. And I just think that's such a nice detail. I also feel like if you wanted to like switch up the top, you could just tuck the little straps in and then have a full bandeau if you were like not necessarily feeling the tie, which I don't know why you wouldn't because the tie is really cute, but I really like this. I got this in size six again. Um, it's just like nice and stretchy. This top, however, so in love with this. Definitely gonna be wearing this so much throughout the summer. Um, I love the little ties in the front. I think that makes it really flattering top and it's really secure. Like I don't feel like it's gonna come down. Um, I thought like as an outfit, this would be quite sweet, but these trousers are just a no, I think. Um, I'm going to have a play with them and see if I can take them to a tailor because they're really cool and I'd like to wear them. I think they'd be really comfy, especially for like on the plane and stuff. But yeah, probably going to be a no. But the top, obsessed. Couldn't be more obsessed. Oh my gosh, there's even more than I thought there was in this bag. You know, when you're like, oh, there's going to be a few things. And now I'm like 20 minutes in and oh my gosh. I forgot I ordered this, I requested it. It is a pastel pink. Oh, are you joking? This is so cute. Oh my gosh. I'm definitely gonna be shooting this for my blog or doing a look or something with this. It is adorable. Oh, you guys, it's a pink suit. This is so cute. The only thing is I wish the lining wasn't um, polyester. There's a part of me that might have the lining to take it out because this is so cute. I don't not want to wear it and it's really hot in LA. So I, I, I want to be able to wear this. Oh my gosh, it's so chic. Oh, and again, size six. What size did I get the shorts in? Six. So cute, can't wait to style this up. I'm obsessed. Couldn't be more into the suit if I tried. The only thing is, again, like I say, wish I'd gone for the size four if the size four existed. These shorts are a bit big, so I'm probably gonna have them tailored. I actually might even get them hemmed so that they finish at the same point as the um, jacket. I've just thrown it on with that white 
cami that I got from Forever 21. Like I say, I think I always need a white cami and I absolutely love the blazer. I think it's gonna look so sweet with like jeans and um, over little dresses. It's specifically designed not to be done up so there's buttons but it just like falls open which is a really smart move by Miss Elfridge because design wise as I go I, I'm not gonna want to like cover this up and like look like this but it's just like hangs really really nicely I might like I say get the lining taken out because it's polyester and it's a bit warm and I know that's gonna bother me in the summer here but I absolutely love this like I say with some trainers my new Reebok the white ones or my rose gold ones I think look great with this it's like a fun look that like not everyone's gonna be in I also feel like this pink suit you could really dress up for a wedding if you did mine maybe a bit more of a like fancier top underneath like something you still like tucked in and had that shape to but um maybe like a lace bodice or something but like nothing too like sexy and revealing but I think with a nice heel this would be such a sweet like but for a wedding that's just a little bit different, that's not the same dress as everyone else. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end up wearing this casually with like trainers, because it's so damn cute. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed all of these pieces and I'm so grateful to be able to share them with you. Thank you so much to myself Rage, for sending this lovely box of stuff over and I'm gonna be styling up all these outfits. So if you're not following me on my Instagram, don't forget to go over there and follow me over there and check out my blog. All the links to everything I have mentioned in this video will be down below. Hit subscribe if you're not already and the little bell button. That way you'll know when I upload a video every Wednesday, you'll just get a little notification. And yeah, I will see you in my next one. Bye!